Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. It's already time for another Featured Friday. So, we will take a look down on the ground in a second here and I'll show you a hand sample of what this rock is around me. But for now, you can see the distant view. This is actually all pretty much the same rock um, with some variation, but pretty much the same rock in all these hills around me. There's a nice hill back there that's made of similar stuff too. So now let's find a good little sample here on the ground and I'll show you what I'm walking on here. So I'm exploring, I'm trying to explore right now around, get this piece out. Um, this is around, I've been in Nevada and California and I've been trying to get you guys some good content. I've got a lot of excursions I wanted to do. Oh, but the fire smoke is rough right now, as you can see on the horizon. There's still a lot of that fire smoke all around. And even though the sky looks blue, there's definitely a lot around. So hopefully I'll get a new field excursion out soon. But anyway, so this is a chunk of the rock. It's, you know, you can see eroded here. So you can get an idea of how it erodes and breaks up. I can tell you that this stuff is not very fun to walk on when you're going down steep hills. Um, it's pretty easy to fall on this. It's, it's pretty loose and um, this type of rock I always kind of hate walking on, but like exploring. So here's close up that you can evaluate. Check that out. So when you're looking at rocks and you're trying to identify them, what you want to really focus on is uh, take a look at the grains. So you want to try to look at, you know, what are we dealing with here? And hopefully that's a good view. Get the lighting good. I maybe over here is a little better. You want to look at the grains that you're seeing, the texture, and try to determine how did this form? Is this like a clastic rock? Is this a bunch of, there's the puppers hiding. <laughs> is this a bunch of um, clasts and debris that's stuck together somehow with a, with a background, um, a cement that's holding them together? Or can you discern some kind of crystals that look like they formed when it was being formed? You want to have some background information about where you are because without that information, you can, you know, misidentify. That will help you narrow it down. But in addition, like I said, if you have a rock sample, really it's all, it was really all about examining the grain. So there's two things you look for. You look for the type of minerals, the, the type of grains that you have. What, what kind of minerals are they? Uh, if you can identify any, can you actually discern crystals? Is it really fine grained? If it's really fine grained, it might be a fine grained sedimentary rock, like a shale, or it might be a fine grained volcanic rock. You might have a chunk of what was ash and, and something that is now a tuff. An intrusive, so you have extrusive and intrusive volcanic rocks, right? So if we're looking at igneous rocks. Intrusive, you're going to see a lot bigger looking crystals because they've had the, the ability to form those crystals from cooling slowly. Whereas um, some rocks, if you see, you might still see some larger grains. Uh, that doesn't mean it's, it's igneous. It, it, it might imply that those grains were already, those grains already existed. It wasn't from cooling magma, right? It's a bunch of grains that got stuck together and that's what you see in sandstones and conglomerates. So that's the kind of thing that you want to be thinking about if you're trying to identify a rock. So if we take a look at this piece, hopefully you've had enough time now to take a guess and drop it in the comments. That's how the Featured Fridays work. I show you something and you try to guess. So it's a nice little test for yourself. Um, it's a better way instead of someone just straight telling you what something is, it allows you to sort of think about it and then you can guess and stick it in the comments. And now it's time for me to talk a little bit more about what we have here. So if you're looking at this one, you can hopefully see a couple things going on here and you don't really discern grains, right? That are like glued together. It doesn't look like you took a bunch of sand or cobbles or pebbles and you stuck them together as you would see in a sandstone or a conglomerate, right? So, okay, well, it breaks really easily in this case. Um, and I'll show you something else here. Let's see, um, it's kind of everywhere, but if you just kind of look on the ground here at this, this is, this is what this stuff is sort of eroding into, right? It's pretty fine. Like I need more dust right now, right? So pretty fine stuff, okay? So what, we're, what we should be thinking here is, hmm, it looks like this is volcanic. This is an extrusive volcanic occurrence. And you can see in those hills, once you get fairly good at recognizing those types of rocks, you can see the way these erode 
almost in some instances they jut up like hoodoos in a way they're just eroding out and leaving these uh, kind of rectangular blocks of this volcanic rock left so this is hopefully you can identify that so you like I said you wanted to look what types of what's the chemistry of this well it's very light and if it's if it has a lot of um, lighter volcanics the silica content then we're talking about something that's rhyolitic so the easiest thing to call this stuff is rhyolite so in this whole area we have a lot of rhyolite or you could say volcanics if you said volcanics you're correct if you said rhyolite you're more correct and then if we looked around this whole area what we'd actually find is some stuff that's a little bit more like an ash an ash flow tough there's some of it's a little more like a volcanic clastic um, that's a bunch of class that are stuck together. You might get something that happens in volcanic instances. You can have debris flows we've talked about. And in that case, you'll get uh, the de volcanic debris that gets stuck together. Um, you could just say siliciclastic in that case too, right? That all implies a very silica rich rock. And that's what we have here. So again, in the simplest form, we are surrounded right now by rhyolite, a silica rich volcanic rock. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you on the next adventure, hopefully. My skies are a little less smoky and I can get out there and bring you another field excursions. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo.